everyone welcome back to another episode of inspirations with Rashonda which is a little bit of this a little bit of that all things inspiration for your mind body and soul so this is going to be really quick but it's just something that I noticed but well, first of all I hope you guys are having a beautiful Sunday uh, today maybe you're watching this and it's Monday maybe you're watching this and it's Saturday I hope it's a good day for you no matter when you watch this but Listen, so I, uh, <laughs> you know how God deals with us. He deals with us about little, little things. And what I'm about to say today may sound um, a little petty. You might be like, girl, like it ain't all that, okay? But I feel convicted about it. And God, like, and I ask God for forgiveness. So um, someone shared something with me and... They told me, they was like, okay, can you keep it a secret? You know, don't say nothing, you know, and whatever. And I was like, oh, okay, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say nothing. You know, I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, uh, and at first I didn't say anything, but as time went on, I found myself saying what this person told me not to say. And just so all hearts and minds are clear. So my daughter is going to the prom in May. And she has a best friend and they've been best friends for quite some time. And the mom of the gentleman is um, renting a limo for them to go to the, you know, for them to go to the prom. And she told me not to say anything because her son didn't get a chance to go to prom last year because of COVID. And of course, we know the last two years, so I think 2020, um, the graduates, people like the high schoolers didn't get a chance to graduate because of COVID. They also didn't have a prom. Um, last year, they graduated, but they didn't have a prom. <laughs> this year, they're graduating and having a prom. So it's been something every year. And just so happened, my daughter graduates this year. Praise God. And uh, so she's graduating from high school, but she's also going to the prom. So he didn't go to the prom last year, but she was like, you know what? He's my best friend. I'm going to take him to the prom. So the mom ended up getting a limo for them. And she was like, girl, don't say nothing. I wanted to be a surprise and whatever. And she don't look at this YouTube channel. So I ain't got to worry about her hearing this until maybe after. Her <laughs> but the thing is, she told me not to say anything. And what did Rashonda go and do? Now, at first, I told my daughter, I was like, oh, I said... She got something planned for you guys. I was like, I can't tell you what it is, but if you're going to love it, it's going to be good. So why today did I end up telling my daughter what it is? <laughs> I ended up telling her the secret. She was like, hey, you know how we do, you know, act like you don't know, act like it's a surprise. You know, when they tell you about it, act surprised. You know, when they say something, you, you know, just act like you don't know. We've all been there. Okay. If you haven't been there, trust me. Uh, as my great, great grandmother used to say, baby, just keep on living. Okay. <laughs> but we've all been there. Okay. We've all shared something we wasn't supposed to share. We've all said something we wasn't supposed to do. And then, you know, because the, the saying is, I have a best friend. My best friend has a best friend and their best friend has a best friend and so forth and so forth. So while you looking at me and like, oh, you know, you acting surprised, you really not surprised because someone has already told you the situation. But this is the key of what God, uh, what God wanted me to know. I told the young lady that I wasn't going to say anything to my daughter. I ended up saying something anyway. Well, I lied because I told her I wasn't going to say anything, right? I said something anyway. So guess what that is? It's a lot. <laughs> and so, you know, and then I ended up asking God to forgive me. I was like, God, I lied. I told her I wasn't going to say nothing. I said something anyway. I said, God, I know that that's a lie. I lied for please forgive me. Please, please forgive me, God. You know, and I want to be aware of that. But in times past, years past, I have said some things that people have shared with me and I have communicated that stuff to other people. Now, God has dealt with me before about doing stuff like that. And, you know, and I was like, okay, God, yeah, you're right. But 
while that was that, even in things like this, you know, the Bible says it's the small foxes that destroy the vine. Well, of course, we all know the big things. We, oh, okay, we're aware of these big things. But it's these little things like this that kind of get us and trip us up. And I don't know about you, but the Bible says that the righteous are going to scarcely make it in. Scarcely, like, little half my fingernail type thing <laughs> so that means that everything that we do we have to ask for forgiveness immediately we have to ask god to forgive us immediately lord i repent immediately lord i'm sorry immediately and ask god to to clear our heart of these things these small things because if we look at it like this and i know you might say okay girl now you're getting a little too dramatic but what if this small thing that I said, this this little lie, <laughs> we like to call them little white lies, but a lie is a lie. You know, what's the main thing to keep me from getting into, into the kingdom of God? Then what? <laughs> you know, so I said that to say, just be careful about these small things, these small foxes these little things that just trip you up and if you even if you have done this ask God to forgive you I had to ask God to like Lord I have did this many times in the past please forgive me I can't name every time that I've done it there are some things that come to my mind I'm like yeah I did it but I can't name every time but God I have not been okay I have been a liar <laughs> I have been a liar I have betrayed uh, people's trust people have trusted me to um and you know to to not say something and I have said something anyway like why do we do that like you know and some you know and some people may say well this thing is just oh that was nothing you know and Whatever. but at the same time I had to go back to what I said I told the young lady I would not say anything and when we tell people that we have to hold ourselves to that like we have to hold ourselves accountable like I should have said you know if I was gonna say something I would have I should have said oh well girl look I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep that one now I mean I may have to say something about that because I'm just so excited you know or whatever just tell the truth look I don't know if I'm gonna keep that or you know I don't know if you should tell me that you know or whatever but now she's trusting that I ain't said nothing and I have so when it comes to little stuff like this, we just need to ask the Lord to help us. You know, and if we want to, um, if we want to reap the kingdom of God and we want to be with God one day, then these little things we have to take care of. Those small foxes, those little crumbs. You know, when you eat something and crumbs is left, it's those little things that we got to keep. We got to blow away. We got to yeah, We got to clean those up too because those little crumbs can turn into something. You know, honestly, those little crumbs are still food. <laughs> it may not be a lot of food, you know, but it's still food. So, you know, I just, that was just came to me. I asked God to forgive me for, um, for spilling the beans. And I also uh, asked God to forgive me for just way back when, when I said something and, um, uh, many times before and I shouldn't have said anything you know and I just want my heart and my mind to be clear okay no wrinkles no spots no blemishes on this heart <laughs> if I can help it all right so um so maybe this helped you today I pray that it did and um ask God to for forgiveness there are some okay. things coming up on the podcast hello so um i got an episode coming out this thursday called just put the h in it if you want to know what the h is well tune in to the podcast okay i think i'll have a description um below of how you can access uh, the podcast and listen to that god deals with me about some things i put things out on there but in the meantime listen clean up those little crumbs you still got some crumbs in your in your pathway on your plate clean those crumbs okay so god can use you like he wants to use you and we can walk in the word of god without any spot wrinkles or blemishes um holding us back okay from getting our blessing all right so be good be blessed happy sunday or whatever day it is <laughs> that you're watching this and uh i'll catch you on the next one Thank you.